Hi everyone, this is the second video of my Build a Startup series. And uh, if you're new to the series, you can find a link to the playlist for this series uh, right here and also in the description below. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how I set up a Hello World project with Django. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, let me just quickly recap what we've done so far. In the last video, we first installed Python 3, pip env, and Django. And then we set up a new Django project in this folder called Edit Dojo within desktop. And this folder is called Edit Dojo because that's the name of our project. And if you're following this yourself, you can make sure that the Django project is set up correctly in this folder by first opening up terminal or shell on your computer, and then go to that folder by typing in cd tilde slash desktop slash edit dojo and then go into the virtual environment that you set up by typing in pip env shell and then start up your server with python manage py server or run server and after that just copy this url paste it in your browser and you should be able to see this window like this Okay, so to explain what we're going to create in this video, let me show you my website first. Uh, it's at csdojo.io, and of course this website has this URL, csdojo.io, and that's the homepage. But you can also go to a specific URL within this site to go to a specific page. So you can, for example, type uh, csdojo.io slash FAQ to open the frequently asked questions page. So that's sort of what we want to do in our project too, but in a much more simplified way. So right now we have this local URL at 127.0.0.1 colon 8000, but we want to make our website so that when a user types in, you know, this URL slash, let's say, say hello, it's going to show text uh, that says hello world. But right now, if you try going to that URL, uh, it's going to give us this error. It says page not found 404. And that's because Django doesn't know uh, what to do with this particular URL. So let's fix that. Okay, so the first thing you need to do uh, to do that is you need to create a new app within this project. Uh, so what's an app? In Django, uh, there are the concepts of projects and apps. A single Django project uh, basically usually powers a single website. And that's what we've created so far and a single project can contain multiple apps. Each of those apps then focuses on a particular aspect of that website. Uh, for example, you know, if you have an e-commerce website, for example, uh, you might have you know, one app for user authentication, you know, logging in and signing up, and another app for just handling payments, and maybe another app for listing items. And right now, you know, this concept of projects and apps might be a little bit fuzzy, but I'm going to explain more about it later in the series. And since we already have our project set up, let's create a new app within our project. Uh, to do that, let's stop this server for now just by pressing Control plus C. And here, personally, what I like to do here is uh, press Control L to clear the terminal just to make it you know, easier to see. After that, use this command, uh, python manage.py start app hello. Uh, this says we're going to use, you know, the manage.py script to create a new app, and that app is going to be called hello. And after that, if you type in ls, you should see this new directory, hello, and that's where the hello app is going to be contained. Now, at this point, uh, this new app called hello exists uh, within this Django project, but this Django project doesn't know about it yet. So you need to basically uh, let the Django project know about it, and to do that, I'm going to use Visual Studio Code here. But you can use any other code editor uh, you want to use. So in your code editor, uh, first open the Edit Dojo folder within desktop. And then within Edit Dojo, you should have Edit Dojo Project. And in that folder, you should have this file, settings.py. So just open that, and then go down to find this thing uh, that says installed apps. This is basically a list of apps that we want to use in this project. So at the end of uh, this list, just add 
hello in single quotes, uh, comma. So this way, you know, we just added uh, this app to our project. Okay, now that your hello app is set up, the next step is create what's called a view for the target URL. Uh, the target URL was of course the home URL slash hello or say hello. And a view is basically what's shown to the user when the user opens a certain URL. And you know, each app has a set of views. And then this app, the hello apps views are configured in this file, uh, views.py within the hello directory. So to create a new view for the target URL, uh, we're gonna edit that file, views.py. But before doing that, I'll need to explain just a little bit about web development. So when you go to a specific uh, page, for example, you know, csdojo.io slash FAQ, uh, what happens is your browser sends what's called an HTTP request to the server that's running this website, csdojo.io. And then that server responds back with what's called an HTTP response with the content you know, of that page. And once your browser receives the HTTP response, then the browser you know, looks at what's inside and then renders it for the user. And that's what you see in your browser. Okay, so that's basically uh, what we're gonna make our Django server do too. So we're gonna set everything so that when the Django server receives an HTTP request with this particular URL, uh, slash say hello, it's gonna respond back with the text, hello world. So go back to your code editor, open uh, views.py within hello, and then at the top of this file, first write from uh, django.http import HTTP response. Uh, this says, of course, uh, import the HTTP response function from the HTTP module of the Django package. And then after that, uh, we're gonna create a view. Uh, one way to create a view in Django is to define a view as a function. So we're gonna do that by writing uh, def or define my view parentheses requests colon return HTTP response parentheses double quotes or single quotes hello world. Actually to make everything consistent, let's use single quotes here, but double quotes work too. Okay, so this function says, uh, when this function called my view receives an HTTP request, actually to be precise, this is gonna be a Python object representing an HTTP request. So when this function receives that, uh, return a response or an HTTP response that says hello world. Okay, so once you write that, uh, this view has been created. So save this file and then go back to uh, terminal and uh, start up your server again with python manage.py run server. And then uh, go to your browser and go to you know the home URL slash say hello. Uh, what you see here is this error again, page not found. Why is that? Well, it's basically because even though Django has a view that says hello world, it doesn't know that it's connected to this particular URL. So when the Django server receives an HTTP request with this particular URL, uh, it doesn't really know what to do. So let's fix that. Okay, there are a few different ways of fixing it, but here's a simple way. Uh, go back to your code editor and then find uh, this file, urls.py within the edit dojo project folder. And in this file, you should be able to find this portion uh, that says URL patterns. This is basically a list uh, that manages information about what Django should do for each URL. So here, add uh, this thing, pass parentheses, and then say hello slash, and after that, my view. So here, what we're trying to do is we're trying to you know tell Django that when Django receives an HTTP request with this particular URL, say hello, use this function to respond, my view. But actually, if you only add this, this is not gonna work because you get this error, uh, undefined variable, my view. And the reason why uh, this variable, my view, or this function, my view, is not defined is because you know the file uh, that we edited earlier, views.py within hello, is not connected to 
this file that we are editing now, urls.py. So basically this file, urls.py, doesn't have any visibility into the file that we were editing earlier, views.py. Uh, we can fix that by writing uh, from hello.views import my view. And once you write that, that error that we were seeing earlier should be resolved. So this line says uh, import the my view function from uh, views.py within the hello directory. So once you have that, you're basically telling Django uh, that when Django receives a request with this particular URL, uh, it should handle it with this particular function. So once you have that, uh, save this file with command S or control S, and then go back to your browser, go to the URL that we saw earlier, uh, the homepage slash say hello, and refresh this page. And now you should see this thing uh, that says hello world. Okay, so let's do a quick recap of what we did in this video. We edited uh, urls.py within the edit dojo project folder so that you know when the Django server receives say hello, this URL, it's gonna respond with this function, my view. And then this function, my view, is of course in views.py within the hello directory. And it's a function that simply responds with this text, uh, hello world. And once you understand all of that, uh, you can start playing around with you know different variables here. So for example, instead of saying uh, hello world, you know if you change this to hello world ah, and then go back to the browser, refresh the browser, you should see this text instead, hello world ah. Uh, you can play around with the you know urls.py file too. Uh, instead of saying say hello, if you say say slash, and then you know save this file go back to the browser and refresh this page uh, slash say hello, you should get this error again, page not found. But if you go to uh, slash say instead, then you should see this one again, hello world ah. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, if you had any trouble with any of the steps I showed you in this video, just go to csdojo.io slash edit and then join our Slack group to you know ask questions there. And also to you know make uh, this series of videos, I'm roughly following this book, uh, Django for Beginners. It's actually a really good book. So if you want sort of a companion book to the series, or if you want to you know jump ahead and learn more on your own, uh, I highly recommend it. You can find it at csdojo.io/dj. Uh, you can also check out you know the free chapters of this book by going to djangoforbeginners.com. Also, uh, you know, a bunch of people asked me if they could contribute to this project in the comment section of the last video, and my answer is, of course you can. So to do that, join our Slack group and find the source code of this project at csdojo.io slash edit again. And, you know, right now we don't have a lot of issues on this project, but, you know, hopefully in a few weeks, uh, we're going to have more issues for you to work on. So I would suggest that, you know, you either start it or watch it and then just, you know, follow along with this project. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.